Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I am a new sewist. I just started sewing last year and we are into February now, if you can believe it. So that puts me at just over one year in sewing experience. And today is the day, what day you ask? The day that I sew my very first dress. show you the fabric that I'm going to be working with. Okay, so I have this super awesome, basically giant bandana fabric that I got secondhand at the Austin Creative Reuse store. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I just knew that it had to be a dress. Of course, like I said, I've never sewn a dress before, so um, I didn't really uh, know what kind of dress it would be. I just figured I would find the right, most magical pattern for me somewhere down the line. And the pattern that I've chosen to use is the Dolly Dress by Small Museum. I have been following Small Museum on Instagram for a few months now, um, and I really like her style. Uh, she kind of does some sort of like more boxier fits. She has the Tate romper and then this dolly dress um, and some other patterns that she's been working on. But she does little unique touches um, that give it like a feminine flair. So for example, on this dress, there are some ruffles on the sleeves and on the bottom of the skirt. And there's a lot of versatility too with the pattern. I've personally chosen to go with the mini dress option, but there is a variation if you would like to do a maxi dress. You can also opt for no ruffles at all if you're not into that, but I think the ruffles are cute. Um, the dress also has this nice collar, which I'm super excited about. I've never sewn a collar uh, on anything, so um, I'm eager to see how that works out. Um, and the pattern does say it is for a confident beginner. I think I would fall into that category, so I think I can handle it. Um, but yeah, I have not cut any of the pieces of this fabric yet, so I would get started on that. Uh, let's get going. So this is my first time working with a fabric that requires pattern matching, so I'm kind of just gonna roll with it and hope that it all works out because I haven't been able to get like a perfect match to the pattern but I just hope that since it has like ruffles and whatnot that it will be a forgiving shape of a dress that uh, forgiving enough that the exact pattern matching won't be so important. We'll see. <laughs>
Okay, the shoulders are sewn. So we have a little quasi vest situation. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and serge those edges. I'm making progress. Uh, I started sewing at around 12.30. It is 2.30 now. So I've been going for a couple hours. Um, and I have a good amount of the bodice done. I sewed on the facings, which another thing I've never done before. Um, it was a little tricky. I had to reread the instructions probably five times, but I think I figured it out. Um, and so now at this point, um, if you remember earlier when I based it on this collar, what um, what I'm actually gonna do now, so we here have the facings, the collar based it on, is I'm gonna remove the basting stitches that are here on the collar. Um, and then um, I'm going to pin just the back side of the collar to the bodice. And then I think some magic is about to happen after I do that. Uh, based on the photos in the pattern, it looks like that's where uh, the bodice top really starts to come together. So we'll see what that looks like. Like I said, this is really a bit of a mystery for me because I've never done this before. So I'm hoping it turns out well. But so far, I think that the even the fact that the... Um, fabric doesn't match up perfectly with the pattern. I don't think it really is mattering thus far. Um, I think it just looks super cute. So I'm excited to see how it progresses. All right, let's do it.
Okay, progress update. I've got the collar done and I'm so excited about it. I love it. And as you can see, finished off the inside of the collar. So there is, uh, there's no raw edges showing. And then for the facing, I added some little stitches on the shoulder seam by stitching in the ditch here. So they should be pretty invisible, ideally. And that should do the job of holding the facing um, or keeping the facing attached to the front of the bodice. So now, ready to move on to the sleeves. Okay, time to do another thing I've never done before, and that is a gathering stitch. So the sleeves are ruffled, and the way that is achieved is by doing the gathering stitches on one end of these rectangles, these are the sleeves, um, so basically I'm going to do two rows of basting stitches along the length of this rectangle, of both rectangles, um, for the sleeves, and then I'm going to attempt to gather them to fit the length of the armhole of the bodice. Hopefully I do it right and I don't rip the stitch, that's kind of my fear, but it's my understanding that you're supposed to grab the bobbin thread, the one on the bottom, and then that that will gather it up and make it into a ruffle. So fingers crossed that I can ace this and I don't have to seam rip and then try again. So let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day, it's Sunday. Um, I finished about 40% of the dress yesterday. I had to take a break, but I think that I can finish it today. I should be able to, um, to make this a bona fide weekend project. So um, I completed the bodice all but for the sleeves. I just need to go and hem the sleeves and then that will be done. And then the final steps are going to be attaching the skirt to the bodice and then attaching the ruffle to the skirt. And then that's it. So that being said, let me go ahead and whip up that sleeve hem.
Okay, got both sleeves all pressed and pinned up. Now let's take them to the sewing machine. Hello. So I finished the bodice. Um, the dress does have the option for pockets. However, I didn't end up having enough fabric for pockets, so um, I'm going to go ahead and breeze through that step. Um, now I am ready to start working on the skirt and attaching that to the bodice. First, I am going to um, serge the sides of the skirt, the two skirt pieces, and then we will uh, proceed to do another gathering stitch, which I'm actually excited about. I kind of love gathering stitches now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get those uh, skirt side seams searched up. Okay, so now we have a big old tube that I'm gonna work on doing the gathering stitches for. So we're gonna start at a quarter of an eighth of an inch, uh, oh, excuse me, um, an eighth of an inch, and go along the entire tube all the way around it um, with uh, the longest stitch length I have, which is four, and then I'm gonna do um, another row at a fourth of an inch um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this gathered. Stay tuned. So I've gathered the skirt up enough that it should fit the bodice. So these are the side seams. I'm going to start by matching the side seams of the bodice and uh, going ahead and pinning the bodice to the skirt, right sides together. Um, from earlier, if you recall, we pinned the bodice like about a half an inch over so it overlaps and then also pinned the facing of the bodice down. So I'm gonna keep that in mind as I am pinning. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this inside out so that way it's easier. Okay, so this is the front of the skirt. And I'm gonna go ahead and start pinning at the side seam.
<laughs> that last round of gathering took me quite some time, but I'm finally ready to sew the ruffle onto the bottom of the skirt. And then after that, all I gotta do is hem it up. So, whew, let's give it a whirl. I'm ready to be done with this trip. 